Ja, ich rede mit Frau Kronje. Thank you, my lord. Ms. Kronje, I just have a few questions on the, on the document that you completed. On the first page, wherein you wrote and remarked that Sergeant V. Mahai Mohane, accompanied by heavily aimed Metro Police officials. You see that note? By heavily armed, yes, thank you. So it means the accused at the time when he was brought to you, he was brought by heavily armed police officials. Metro police officers, you are correct. Okay. okay. And from your experience, you've said you have done more than 50, we have taken more than 50 statements. Am I correct? I said approximately 50 uh, confessions. I said confessions are 50. Okay. Out of those statements that we have taken, have you come across with a person who has been brought by Metro Police officers or a person who will be brought by SAPS members? I have encountered yes, that police officers bring them. Yes, will those police be heavily armed as well? Hierdie was die eerste geval waar ek in basis van buiten af inkom in een kantoor in. Okay, uh, this was the first uh, instance where okay. I would come from outside and walk into a, an office. Kwa ku i sanja lo pala gele lo uti ngibu ye no man suge nga panje nginge nga paga ati ovisi. Yes. For a bekeintenis. For a confession, ugu ti gengzo wenza is that men dege. Okay. Met die ander gevalle was ek reeds in my kantoor gewees en is die persoon na my toe gebring, so ek weet nie in welke omstandighede hulle gebring is nie die polisie beamte wat hom bring om wel saam met hom in, om sy besonderhede vir my te gee. Uh, then uh, I would be in the office, the person would be brought to me, so I wouldn't know the circumstances under which that person or persons would be brought, but the police officer accompanying that person would come into the office uh, with the person. Okay. 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 In sy besonderhede verskaf het, dan verlaat hy die kantoor. Uh, as, as soon after the police officer who accompanies the person who comes to make a confession, uh, brought the person in, gives me his particulars, that person or that police officer would then leave the office. Bese gutige, u manga ba ipoisa lelo, edim kapilege, noma edim letile, bese edim genisile, nga pagati la mingeza, imini ni wanayalo, bese dia pumage e obvis. Okay, so... This was the first incident that you witnessed. This was the first incident that you witnessed or that you came across with from your experience to see an accused person being brought by heavily armed police officials. 
That is correct. But when you saw the logo, you saw the Santa Localage, who would think this one leg, you want to go to Ule, Kanja, Namage, Uhamba, Namapoisa, Mapoisa, Mwaba, Futi, Asomi. And when you, dis when you requested for their appointment certificate, they disappeared. That is correct. That is correct. We can also have a good Uma Semfunage, a certificate Zapo Zaboga Zogu Zomsebenzi, Basebe at Dubai. And no one could give you the reason why they ran away when you asked. They ran away. Can I just rephrase, my lord? Yes. And no one told you the reason why they decided to leave when you have instructed them to give you their appointment certificates. No, again, for the food, no one has a nest that to be so good to pass a bear handbag and not be Yamala lag, or my same Funaga is a difficult Zabos of seven to number seven. But they defied your instruction. Am I correct? You are right. You are going to be so good to get local Minagi and Angi Kalila and Mangan Choma, Abuenza, Abuenza. Okay. And when they left, you do not know where did they go to, whether they left the building or whether they went out of the building, the premises, I mean the premises of the magistrate office. Is correct. You are correct. We consider that you have to be able to do it, and you have to be able to do it, and you have to be able to do it, and you have Okay. Let's move on, Mr. Cronier, to the particulars of the so alleged attorney who represented accused number two. You have testified that you did not make a copy of the certificate, fidelity certificate. Am I correct? That's correct. Okay. That is correct. In Shiloh, you have to get a copy of the certificate in the Salo or it will merely answer and send. Having failed to do that, did you ask from which law firm was he coming from? Was it an attorney or was it an advocate? I did not get from him. Dit was een procureur geweest, zover mijn kennis strak. En die fidelity van het certificaat is onduidelijk voor mij dat hij voor zijn eigen trust rekening praktiseert. Uh, I did not ask. Uh, he was an attorney as far as my uh, recollection goes. And uh, the fidelity fund certificate was then indicative that uh, he was uh, responsible for his own uh, trust. Angsang and Buzege, no good, uh, good to be a good pig, if I'm no maga, uh, you obviously Laba Medi, a footige, Nala, and a certificate, let's see, say, 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 show, get, Ubutige, U seven, Zella, no maga, we trust, eh, yak. Okay, so we're not sure whether he was a practicing advocate or practicing attorney, am I correct? I could be father, or Angsafani, you can screw it. You are correct, I didn't uh, go further into that. Okay. And you also did not ask any mandate, written mandate, for him to ins for him to be able to present the accused that was before you. You did not ask that. Dear Yiri Manier Mjiaku, that I understand is dear Manier Mtanzi, that I need to consult it in that I am for the word. No, no, I didn't because the deponent confirmed to me or told me that uh, that was his attorney that he had appointed, that uh, he had consulted with, and it was also confirmed that by this Mr. Mjiaku that uh, he had been instructed or appointed and also consulted. Besides being confirmed by the sorry, accused. Sorry, oh, uh, sorry, my lord. Sorry. Uh, I did not ask for the mandate to appoint an attorney or for me to appoint an attorney or for me to appoint an attorney or for to consult an attorney. No, be besides what was said by the accused, Ms. Cronier, I'm just asking if you, as an officer of the court, did ask the attorney for the mandate to represent the accused. I have 
Uh, I did not ask him for any mandate uh, okay. coming from any person. Uh, he just uh, confirmed that indeed he was appointed and uh, he, that he had thoroughly consulted with uh, Mr. Ndanzi. And he was when you had been given the document by the other magistrates and you went inside into your office to take this statement, why was it necessary to allow the other two police officers to enter inside the, the room where you were taking this statement? Is there an doubt that I to act unfulfilled? Meneer um, Lissere genade reed, hy was op daar staring onbekend aan my, en gevraad vir die aanstellingscertificate van amal teen woorde. You will recall that uh, as I came, I then approached Mr. Lissere, who was at that particular time unknown to me, and requested that the appointment certificates uh, of everyone that was present there. Hoe so kom bula, die ooit in kaart in viga la, po gaya wil kom Lissere, en gang na maas, en alles oskaart. It was not provided to me at that point in time. I then went into the office. But uh, when they entered at that time, we hadn't started, and uh, the reason for them coming in, it was to provide me with those two copies of uh, the appointment certificate of Mr. Lissering as well as Mr. Jonathan. Kati benge nage, sasi nge kata linga luto, futi ge uma benge na bange nage, bezo mnige zage, ama kopi alezo certificate ige, zake ulisering kanye no Jonathan. I listened to, uh, to, to the record and specifically to the questions that were asked by my learned colleague, Mr. Advocate Mgomezulu, regarding the constitutional rights of the accused. Do you still remember that? Can you specify the object of what the constitutional rights are? Because I have a question from this. Can you just be specific as to which one? Because I was asked about a few or quite a few of them. Yeah, the right to be taken to court within 48 hours. You remember those rights? I remember. Yes, the right to remain silent. I remember. And the rest of the constitutional rights that were put to you on Friday. Or do you want me to ask you if you did explain the constitutional rights of the accused? I don't want to go back wherein we have already answered. Well, I would like to be specific, we are going to ask the constitutional rights where I have is, um, so that I can answer the question. Just for me to be able to answer. Just for me to be able to follow your <coughs> question and to answer you correctly, you just have to be specific. Okay. The constitutional rights that I have to say is that you have the document marked here. Uh, the constitutional rights which I inquired about or which I asked about uh, uh, on the document exhibit JJ. Lanage and Gabu Zanga or Geminage, Amalunga, Mogom Teto Segel, Akonag, the document LJJ, who's a final J. Ukon, the Uguti, Ukuma, Nali, Namangawap. The right to be taken to court within 48 hours. Do you know that right? Have you heard about that right? Natirla. Of course. Yebo, Gengeswag, and Alelunga, Lutige. Did you explain that to him? I did not uh, pertinently bring uh, his attention to that specific aspect. Okay. Thank you for that concession. Now, the reason why I'm picking that one, it's because from this performer, you recorded that accused number two reported to you <coughs> that he has been detained
from the 16th until the 24th, or until the day when he was when he appeared before you. Yes, Am I correct? That is correct. Yes. And if you can just uh, uh, refresh your memory, he even said, in other words, he was reporting to you that he has not been taken to court. Did you listen to that? I to say I should be I should be sixteen and arrested. If I, can just go, if I can just go to my notes on this exhibit, he said he was arrested on the 16th. Was he Sorry, can you, take, can you give us the paragraph? Paragraph 9, paragraph, paragraph 9 of page 4. Paragraph okay. 9, you get over page 4. Yes, you can respond. Hij het gesê, hy is op die 16e gearresteer. Hy het geen um, vooruitgang gesien nie. Ek gaan net aanhaal die wat hy hier in Engels aan my meegedeel het. I saw no progress. I didn't see or understand what was going on. I didn't understand when I was supposed to appear in court. Hmm. I know I was arrested. If one is arrested, they have to appear in court. I decided I want to come to court and I called my attorney and told him I wanted to come to court. Nangi ngazi, I'm sorry. Nangi ngazi, noma ngaboshwa, angqale lapho. Ngaboshwa ke zi u16, ngabona ke ngena ngibekela phambili, ngangazi futhi ke ngazwisisi ukuthi kwenzakalani noma qhubekani, eh ngangi ngakuzwisisi ke nokuthi kwakunga nokuthi kwakufanele ukuthi ke ngiyo vela ke ngaphambi kwemanje, ngiyakwazi ke okay. Ngazi ukuthi ngangiboshiwe futhi ke uma ku ukuthi umuntu eboshiwe kufanele ayovela ke phambi kwemanje noma ke aye inkantolo ngase ngithatha ke isinqumo sokuthi ngifuna ukuze inkantolo ngaxhumana ke nommeli wami ngamtshela ukuthi ngifisa ukuze inkantolo mm. from my understanding of what you recorded here it means or it shows that the accused was complaining to you about the unlawful detention, about the fact that he has been detained from the 16th without appearing in court. Am I correct? This is correct. If you read this. This is correct. Yes. And it was also my very clear that in the paragraph that he was aware of his rights in terms of the Constitution, and that is also how he came to the procurator to contact him. Um, that, is, that, that is correct and uh, it, it indicate, uh, indicates in this paragraph that he was very much aware of his constitutional right which is then why he contacted his attorney uh, to bring him before court. Yes, that's what I said. Uh, so the attorney said that Futige kung inga konje akumanage no meli wake ogutige amlete enkantolo. Forget about the communication between the client and the so-called attorney because you were not there. Am I correct? That is correct. Okay. I can it report here in case that we can describe what I for my to see. So what I for say procurer me for daily, so I can for you can see. That is correct. I can only report that because that is also what I, I wrote here. But what it is that he discussed with his lawyer, I cannot tell you. Yes. Our uh, court lawyer, no matter how much I know, no matter what, I can't get into trouble. Me don't believe in local angel or no. So let's refrain from making any reference to to their conversation. I'm talking about you when you were recording this. What rang into your mind? What did you understand by a person who is saying, "I have not been taken to court"? I have been in detention from the 16th until today, which was the 24th, if I'm correct, 24th of June. That is correct. Yes, that was eight days. That is correct. Yes. That is correct. We can use a good one. We have to go to the 16th. We have to go to the 24th. I can do the 12th of the month. And as an unreal mother, I can use it. 
Uh, I also noticed that uh, and uh, considered it to be an irregularity. Okay. Okay. At that uh, stage, because I did not have any further uh, information except that which I was told. Don't worry, just stick here to paragraph 9. We're dealing with paragraph 9. Nothing else out, outside paragraph 9. This person was complaining, why did you proceed with someone who had indicated to you that he was in an unlawful detention from the 16th of June? Why, didn't, why did you proceed in taking down the statement? from a person who had been kept in an unlawful detention. I was verdedig op die stadium. I was begeerig om die verklaring te maak op die stadium. He was represented at that stage. Uh, he wanted to, to, it was it, it, from him. He's the one who showed that desire uh, to uh, speak or to say something at the time. Why no meli, umfunwa ziko meli, kutuwa kwa mga nige, uma umundu, ekche lage, uguti manje, ube boshwe, nomage, uke nwe ngenje lage, inge kumite tuwe kutukubege, lo mundu wa ino meli, nga lese stati, futu kwa kupuma guyena, ukufunu kuluma yindo ya isuka guyena. Ondori stadion, was ak van uerio gewees, da dit ni nuerig was. Um die tot de stop te and at that particular time, I also did not consider it, or also not consider, I also did not see it necessary or deem it necessary to bring the proceedings to a halt or to stop with the proceedings. Okay. okay. You have also, in your examination in chief, if I remember very well, indicated to the accused in various ways that he must feel free and respond to you any irregularities and you will help him. Am I correct? That is correct. That is correct. Now after telling you this, that he had been kept in an unlawful detention, what did you do as a magistrate to release him? Dit is nie binnen my machte om om vry te laat nie en ek het dier die aangeleentheid ten opzichte van hierdie punt aan die senior landros gerapporteer nadat die confessie afgeneem is. It was not within my powers to release him and that this particular aspect I mentioned it or I reported it to the senior magistrate upon the completion of taking down the confession. Yes, I agree. It was not within your powers to release the accused, but it was within your powers to stop and to say, I cannot proceed taking down a statement from a person who has been or who is in unlawful detention before me. Am I correct? Dit was nie op die stadium vir my geoorloof om dit te doen nie, aangezien ek slechts een eenseide geweergehawe het, van sy kant af van hoe hy voor my gebring is, en ek nie al die feite gehad het nie. Dat oorloof ook nie. Sê dat oorloof? Dit was nie my geoorloof om die verrichting te stop. Ek was net die woord geoorloof verstaan. Met alle woorde, dit was nie vir my, in my mag om. Okay. Uh, it was not uh, in my authority uh, for me to do that or to release him at that okay. stage. And I only had this one-sided version uh, from him. Okay. Okay. Did you ask the police officer who had brought the accused why he has not been taken to court? No, because the police officer was not present at that particular time. After? Okay, after, after when, when they were back to take him or later? Nee, want in die tijd toe ek die kantoor verlaat het, was daar niemand in die gang nie, nie die deposant nie, nie die politie nie. And uh, the other person was the senior Landros. No, because uh, at that time there was no one in the passage. 
not the deponent, not the police. Uh, the only person that was in the passage was the senior magistrate. But this was Katige Umasem Pumaga sent the Divega Nami, Wayenge Kogelona, we got to Nigaza in the statement of Mina, a police of Uyet on the Pella of Vomuto Ekonage, Babu Manji or Pet in the Magos senior magistrate. Okay. Did you make a note to the senior magistrate that the police must be informed to take the accused to court? I get it actually, I can not direct a kid from Doy, would have said me, I get well for the sea that it black, so far I can not doubt that it black that the man is 16 and arrested and has not steered me for a wolf. I do not recall putting it in those uh, exact words or uh, words that you just mentioned, but I remember telling the magistrate that it, uh, the senior magistrate that it appears that the gentleman was arrested on the 16th and he hasn't been, been uh, brought up before court up to that day. And Kumbule and Gusho Logo, Nala, or Mazuig, or Ashoyoge, or Tanga Kumbulan Jege, who seen a message setting in Jelag, Uguti, Umdisalonaga, Wabosh was you sixteen, who's a bailer Lolanga, the Loga, Agaga, the Targing of Pamuayo Imanj. Okay. About the rest of the complaint that he has not, he had not taken a bath since he was uh, detained on the 16th, did you do anything regarding that? Yeah. No. Ugutige Agazange Agaze Sugalamazo E sixteen Abuko and Abuenza Nalo. He also had reported that he he also needed to call his family. I think that was part of the complaint in this paragraph. This is correct. That yes. is correct. Yabushilo and Nogo to Ifuna, no Pumana nom genuake. Did you do anything about that? No. Abuko and Mada Nalo and Abuenza. So, what was the use of you explaining to the accused that he must be free? And re report anything because you'll be able to assist him. That is the object of unrealmatigheden of any form of mensen vergrijpen, mensen rechten vergrijpen. The other aspect can I myself not from real and strafni. I can it well not to learn. And that will then by way of any verandering of the document and the under the police's aandacht. Ah, no. It was with regards uh, to uh, uh, any irregularity uh, as well uh, as uh, 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 the human rights or his rights of being uh, what is this infringed, his, yeah, his rights being infringed. But with regards to the other aspects, I could not uh, make any arrangements or do any other arrangements regarding that, uh, except just to note that and uh, bring it uh, to the police's attention. Yeah, but but that's also included the, these rights that we are dealing with here the right to be informed about being taken to court within 48 hours. I that you did not do anything about that as we have promised him. I was bewust geweest van sy rechte en dit is waarom hy gereel het om voor een hoofd gebring te word of hoofd toegevat te word, sal ek maar sê. En hier die vergrijping is gerapporteer aan die senior landros. Uh, he was aware of his rights, which is then why uh, he then arranged to be brought before a court and uh, this infringement was uh, brought uh, to the attention of the senior magistrate. Amalungelo akege wa yuazi inga goke ainzaage uguti ale twege nga pamgu inkantolo. Futi loko gen maila lelo na lelo tabalolo nga zulisaage kiona imanji epete. But you are the person who knew who had a duty to explain the rights to the accused and you failed to do so. Ek het nie nodig geacht vir iemand wat duidelik vanuit sy mededeling en sy klagte reeds bewus is van daar die raag om dit weer te herhaal nie. Ek het dit wel beskaas my plig om dit te rapporteer en ek het dit aan my senior landroos gedeel. Uh, I did not uh, see it uh, as being necessary uh, for someone who was very much aware of that particular right to repeat it to him again, but what I did is that I noted it and reported it to my senior. Nanga, sorry. I will not look by foof, he would look on die, was not on for the other the person, and was I work done, and it in word of height from side procurator, and was the work, a dear like purpose from side near the dear. And I also want to mention this that we are not speaking here about someone who was not represented, he was represented. The legal representative was also very much aware of uh, what was uh, being said. 
futhi ke lana ke asikhulu loku ke engikhuluma ngako ke angizange ngisibone isidingo sokuthi ngisiphinde ngikuphinde ngoba ke kwaphaceba ke ukuthi lo muntu amalungelo wakhe ke uyawazi futhi ke minake ukuthi nje ngomdluli ngamdlulisa kwimanje ephethe lana futhi asikhulumi ngomuntu owayengenayo umeli umeli wakhe wayekhona ke lapho umeli ekwazi noma enolwazi lwalokho okushiwoyo noma ukukhulunywayo I think let's move on. We have already considered that no constitutional right you explained. Now let's come to the injuries. I I listened to the examination in chief when. I think it's correct that no constitutional rights were explained. No, it's not correct. We all know that. Thank you, my lord. Let's now move on. You have testified that you are you have been serving as a magistrate for a longer period. You can just remind me for how many years of experience have you been uh, working as a magistrate? The 1st of July, 1996. Yeah, which is how many years? Can you count? I didn't count it somewhere around the 30 years. Somewhere around 30 years, you're not sure? Laat ik dit niet voor u uitwerken als u maar niet de geleentheid zal gaan. Ik is ongelukkig maar niet iemand wat trak houdt van alles wat ik doe niet. Ik ga het even uit voor u. Het is 27 jaar. 27 jaar. Oké. Tiga minyak itu 27, tiga belas orang sebentar nanti yang manch. In civil court atau in criminal court? Kau sok kalau di criminal atau off, met apa selang dari family off? Ah, mostly the criminal court, and then at the times I would then do the family court. Okay. Also to the family court. Ya. Yes. Ini distrik so, terus makan alu kier, tuh alu juga. In the district court. Kau sok kalau di family atau aski criminal off, in dan so. Uh, in the district court, we are uh, uh, allocated in, uh, uh, in all the courts, but mostly it's the criminal court, but then in between we'll also be placed in the uh, family court. Oh, okay. So, so you are not a regional court magistrate? No. Oh. No. I'm going to get Imanji as a regional court. Oh, okay. No, I understand. Okay. Do you agree with me that a person, if he has been assaulted, there may be visible injuries and they may also not be visible injuries. Is correct? You are correct. You can see that 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 you can see that. And the mere absence of physical injuries does not suggest that he was not assaulted. Is correct? That is correct. You can see that 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 you can see and you also said when you completed this form, what did you do with it? After I completed, or what do you precisely mean? Sorry? After completing it, or what is it? What do you please mean precisely? After completing the document you were busy with. Exhibit JJ. Excuse me, I don't get you. There is Exhibit JJ in front of you. Yeah. It was completed by you. That is correct. Oh, After correct. completing that exhibit, what did you do with it? Are you referring to specific pages or the entire document? I'm referring to Exhibit JJ. I don't know whether I understand you correctly, but after completing the entire document, that is now including the statement, uh, it was then uh, 
the statement. It was then requested that uh, it be interpreted back uh, in, com in full, be interpreted back to him, whereupon he was then requested to sign in my presence, as well as that of the interpreter and his lawyer, uh, myself and the interpreter also then uh, signed. A move go to Conke, the Nomas and Cretan Abogonke logo was a fundelo and said Naso the footy statement to Palo Pansi was in Nas and Tela to deliver Obutig Am Fundele, the Nomage Am Toliga Legas on a sonke was a Ekelo Abuta signed there, a signed and Gikona, Utoliga Corner, Umelua K Corner, Nas and Naming a signed again in a Utoliga was signed. Thank you, my daughter, for no further questions. Thank you. Under your examination. <coughs> Mevrouw en antwoord, dear op een vraag, dear advocaat Nisololo, of die afwezigheid van het wendige beserings nie noodwendig beteken dat die persoon nie aangerand is nie en nie het gesê, ja. Ok, ja, from a question posed to you by advocate Nisololo that the absence of any visible injuries does not is Sorry. not an indication that uh, there was no assault. You responded yes. My Lord, yes, uh, Mr. Mugamizu. I'm so sorry to to interject. My Lord, uh, I think we made a mistake as the defense from the leading of the evidence at the inception of the evidence of this witness. If my learned colleague is asking in Africans. The reason that came, why I'm, I'm saying this, it, it would be difficult for us who does not understand Africans to note if there is a need to rise for an objection, my Lord. No, at the beginning. That's I, the problem that At we, the beginning, I asked whether all the councils wanted uh, the services of Mr. Jonas to interpret from English to Zulu, Zulu to Africans, Africans to Zulu, and vice versa. And he's been doing it all through all the proceedings. Even when you put a question, Mr. Jonas interprets it in English and Zulu. May I request, my lord, if it is not prejudicial to the state to re-examine in English. No, the witness said he prefers speaking Afrikaans. I'm referring to the counsel, not to the witness. So that well, you can follow no, Mr. Gomez, if I understand court procedure. If a witness prefers to speak Afrikaans, the <laughs> when I was practicing, magistrate would say, you can't be admitted as an attorney or an advocate as you need to a Dalach as So, <laughs> So when we were practicing, this is what Mr. Baloy is actually doing. If the witness says he prefers Africans, Baloy can't address that witness in English. Because if he addresses her in English, then Mr. Jonas must interpret for that witness from, in, from Africans to English. I said, Rech, my friend, bring here. Yes, I learned Objection, my lord. Objection, my lord. I beg to differ, my lord. If a witness is testifying in the language of his choice, be yeah. it in Zulu or Nguni or Afrikaans, mm. we have heard witnesses testifying in their own language of their own choices. But we, none of us have cross-examined or led evidence in the language of the, which is the choice of the witness. The witness can testify, can use any language, but the court officials to, 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 to not to use that language, my lord, to continue using the English language, which is understandable by everyone, all officers in court. We are not, my lord, saying the witness should use English. Oh, yes, yes. The witness can use the language of her own choice. So Mr. Baloy is the one who must use English. Yes, my lord. Because okay, the, fine. Mr. Thank Baloy, you, my lord. It's, you say you, it's no problem at all, as long as the, <laughs> the witness is comfortable with that, my lord. English. Yes, Okay. We don't even want to belabor it. Yeah, okay. Thank you, my lord. You testified in cross-examination by uh, counsel for accused number five. 
that the absence of visible injuries doesn't mean that a person hasn't been assaulted and you, um, you answered yes to that question. That is correct. Yabum Shiva, the Ubut Umbozo, Obozo, Yenaga Umevi, I'm sorry, we stand over to get Umba Bonaga Vige, Nomage Umba, become a Bonaga Vige, Bokliman, Namaga Bamanga Bage, Logo Abu Shog, Ubutumuntu Agashai. I just want to take you to page four, paragraph ten of Exhibit JJ, the performer. Paragraph 10A reads as follows. Do you have any bruises or injuries of any kind? If so, please show them to me if it's possible for you to do so. What does it relate to? Does it relate to visible injuries or does it refer to uh, internal injuries or to both? All of the series. Uh, all injuries. Lombuzoge ola nage uguti ingaba unayini imihuzu. No maga ugly mala, no maga ye pig in tom, oh magunja love and tell them changi sege, eh, oh magu, utige, we are was good to wench and jal, utige, loya, buzo, the ukulumanje, alkulumanjangala, abonagala pella, potanje, bong ugly mal. Can you be more specific if you say all injuries? What do you mean? Sechbore besierens of Nisachbore besierens. Visible injuries or uh, those uh, injuries that are not visible. Lana ge kulum yanga la na ge manga babo na gala yu na nga babo na gali food. You also in cross ex examination by Advocate Michelle Lolo for case number five. <coughs> With regard to the question that the accused mentioned to you that he was arrested on the, uh, the 16th of June, 2020, you reply that you reported that to the senior magistrate. That's correct. That is correct. That, do you know if further steps were taken? No, because I didn't hear about the matter thereafter. Yabong Shilo, the Ugoti Logo, Mamro, the Saga, and Abionagi Manchapete, Maila Nogoti, what was you sixteen was a was a child, a young, a young, a twenty four in the Gavil and Gandol, Ugoti, Akona, Yena, Manatelo, Atatuagi, Angazi, Babaga, and Pindang and Gezo, Gabo Tabaga, and Mufa Walo. If we can just thresh out this aspect, what is the nature of your duties when you take down a statement in terms of section 217, section 217 of the Criminal Procedure mm -hmm. Act? Do your duties extend to inquiring as to the person's court appearances? Well, that is a two-year-ledige antwoord. Um, I would fast tell if I Okay. Uh, it is a two-way uh, question. Uh, I must find out uh, if he is doing this uh, freely and voluntarily as well as he was not coerced. Finally, I'm going to go to the statement. 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 I'm going and uh, I also want to mention that here when I'm referring to the court, I'm now referring to myself being the magistrate that was approached for the confession. must also ascertain or find the establish whether he was in his sound and sober senses. And whether he was brought without any undue influence for this confession. Lana ge kwanel mbwenze kuguti uma elekwa ge lomundo noma esepambi kwami ge ule chukmi na ge futi inga poto iwe yini noguti ge usem kondo ni ge noma ge kondo ni ge boko pelele aguko yini ukumpaza misayo. Oto astore mesetni maipleg um father ente kan ten opzakte van die beweringe ni. Uh, and at that stage, it was now not for me uh, to go uh, deeper or further uh, with uh, regards uh, to the uh, allegation, but uh, to note down what he says. Mm.
as well as to report uh, irregularities as I've done there. No good again, Kazeg, no man, Gusho, the logo, Unga, Hambanga, Gangela, Nanjem, or Bangetzi, the Conala. But my betrayal is the Fuero for the Eiffel Brimbold, but a father ownership in the Eiffel Bansal. As far as I'm concerned, it is now the trial court that would then have uh, to. Uh, to go further or to inquire further with regards uh, to those uh, issues. And I'm guessing that I'm going to go to the court and 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 the court. Which is also normal practice in our criminal courts when a person is, a, uh, is appearing for the first time. Ego in the lag, ego in the wanga yoga, ego in Gandolo Z, to Uma who go to Munduge, Uvela, Namago is Sanja, local, a Vela Pangu Manch. And at this stage, when you took down this statement, were you aware of any previous court appearances or not? Yeah. No. Now, this is Tatige, a Pangamig and Anga Zige, Nogotig and a Pangling, Namako, Nogako, and I know Uvela in Gandolo and a Pangibin. Now, counsel for Achis 1 and 2 put it to you that Surgeon Mohane that you have referred to in your evidence was present when you completed the pro forma and also when you took down the statement of, of the deponent. Can I just ask once again just to put in record what you have noted on Exhibit JJ. That last paragraph that is in your handwriting, that starts with Surgeon V. Mohani. Page. Page one. Okay. as I noted as follows. Sergeant Mohoni accompanied by heavily armed Metro Police officials, of which most members left when asked for their appointment certificates, to remain outside the office door. Sergeant Mohoni was open to the work that he began to his afternoon. I said, I did say on some certificate here. Sergeant Mufani was also not present when the confession was taken down. He only uh, brought uh, his appointment certificate and left the office. Lana ge kupali we uguti u Sergeant V Mufani owa ye hambage na mapoisa ge ya Metro Police aye tlomi le uningila bo na mage uningila bo ge abati bahamba u mage betelo ge uguti abale chege amape pa chege sayoge. Namage Yama appointment certificates Abo, Wasala Ababili, Ababiminga Panjege, Vestapa, so obviously, Yenage, Muhanege, Nayege, Arazange, Abeko, Namawanga, Konga Parat in Katiga, Statement, the Lessi Stat, while the Tanji certificates are get Wabi Sekuma. Thank you, my lord. Those are the only aspects. Yeah, thanks. Just one aspect which may have not been covered. This is Mr. Mziako. Tanji. Say gestaltes verdedelen. Can you define and describe this physique? Was he a fat man, tall man, short man? Was he on a wheelchair, whatever? But I just want his physical appearance. I can't hear disabilities. Op gemaakt nie. Zijn lengte was min of meer my lengte gewees. I did not notice any. Disabilities. His length was more or less my length, my lot. I'm saying I'm born in Gukuli Malagi. I'm a Gukuli Malagi. I'm not saying I'm Chiyabo. Footy game. I'm not saying I'm a Linga Nanami. I was scroll about the years. He was slender in build. Why I'm not saying I'm Zimba. In I was clear. I was in a pot clear. And I had for my first time as of I hour as as here the manier and dancing. Uh, he was neatly dressed in a suit, and uh, to me, he appeared older than uh, the, uh, Mr. Ntanzi. I just want to like normal. 
legal practice now would do. I get geen draasak of akte tas by hom gesien nie. Ek het niks in sy hande gesien. I did not see any bag, uh, my lord, uh, and I did, uh, on him, uh, in his uh, uh, possession, and I also did not see anything in his hands. Wat as far as uh, bags are concerned, my lord. Ang zang ang bonne luto ge isaga ge gena noma ge oye pete gena esandling. And according to you, how many hours did you spend with him and accused number one being present? Um, ongeveer drie uur. Ek het toe ons begin het die tyd genuteleer en toe ek jyltemal yeah. klaar is die tyd genuteleer. Uh, almost, uh, approximately three hours, my lord. I noted the, noted the time when we started as well as when we finished, I noted the time. Mata Mahora, oh, three. So he said throughout the whole uh, interview. He never story. excused himself to go to the bathroom or whatever. Niemand het gestel gesed daar so. Ja, hy het niemand het gevra om die, die, die kantoor te verlaat nie. No one requested to leave the office. A gee ook al wat tyla ook wat jy apoe my lap. I remember it was put to you that uh, he was never there. And if he was there, did accuse number two at any stage during that three years say, Maar wie is die man? Wat by my linker kan sit. No remarks like that. Nee, want toe hy ingekom het, het ek om pertinent gevra en ek het meer in tansie op die stadium geadresseer en ek het vir pertinent gevra wie is hier die man wat hier saam met jou in die kantoor is met die pak kleren waarna hy vir my gesê dit sy prokureer. No, my lord, because I pertinently addressed him and I addressed him as the tansie and asked him, who is this man who is seated here dressed in a suit? And then he responded by saying, it is my legal representative. Lapo again, Gambu Zag, and Gatopana, and Gapulmanayege, Gamkondag, and Asan Pulmanayego, Mr. Tans, who to Banigel of this of Tesila, or Kagisuti, was said to Meliwam. Thank you. Any questions arising? Only one question, Madam. What was the color of the suit? So far my recollection is, I can not remember what I think it was, it was a dark green color, but I can not remember what I said, what the color was clear. I can not remember, I can not remember, I can not tell you the precise color, but dark or greenish. Ang ege ngi tre vego yon ang balaga wa yoga ve yesu ko tanga tinje ita. Marito na ka brain kung yesu ta kiti so upkalit na di clear fan di pa clear ni ba over dati ba ni kis ka clear was so yesu ti prokuriers mani clear van yon na di off tipo. Maybe it could have been brown, but I cannot tell you the precise color. But he was neatly dressed as is the norm with lawyers with as far as dress code. Uh, is consent and again show we go and stamp the whole brown got the echo gegas and then again the lag of a mili abako gangai so last question then was was he recording notes was he taking notes is it arising mr my lord you are a senior counsel mr Mkubezu. is it arising from what i asked uh especially you can ask for an indulgence there's no problem may i ask for an indulgence yes. my lord? because uh he was not in possession of a bag, was he taking notes of some kind? I cannot tell you, I didn't note as such. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. Yes, Mr. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 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 Mr. No questions. I have no, no questions. questions. Uh, arising, Mr. M Just one, my lord. Mm. <coughs> I, think it, I think it's coming from the questions from the court, my lord. Yes. After no, the, the ones here. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. After, besides getting the information, looking at the dress code and the height, observing. Uh, the physical appearances <coughs> of that person who referred to himself as a legal practitioner. What is it that made you to to believe that he was a legal practitioner? Well, I was told as a procurator and as a documentation, my was generated for me to in the 
um, die posant het hom ook voorgestel aan my as sy procureur. Uh, he, he introduced himself to me as a legal uh, practitioner. Uh, he also showed me his appointment certificate. I had no reason to doubt that and the deponent introduced him as his legal representative. Why Kazakh Mina? Ukuthi umeli wase engibonisake nale document noma ke certificate lesiana ngangenaso ke izathu sokuthi ngingabaze lokho futhi ke nalona ke owayenikeza nge statement wamchazake noma wamethula nanje ngomeli wakhe. Thank you madam. Yeah, thank you Ian Fragnet. Did you have a tie on? I know attorneys today they don't, they don't put on ties sometimes. Yeah, it was volledig gekleed en 'n pak klere met a a dressing suit soos wat jy sal kry met a Normal das. Yeah, he was properly dressed, my lord, uh, with a suit and uh, with uh, a tie. Why forget a suit? Can you foot again no tie? Okay. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> yes, Mr. Baloi. As the court pleases, my lord, the state calls the next witness. It's Ms. Sepiso Evelyn Mutraping. Witness number ninety-two on the on the list. Tapping. Yes. Yes. Mr. Rasik, Mr. Piri, why are you surprised when I say attorneys today no longer put on ties? I haven't seen that. I know you're one. Yeah. You haven't seen an attorney without a tie. I have seen them. Yeah. You no, know it happens. And sometimes they come in leather jackets in court. Mm. <laughs> it's true. We have seen that too. Yeah, times have changed. Yes, so the witness here. Uh, she's indicated my lot she's speaking English. Oh. Full names okay. and surnames, please. Evelyn Sapiso McLappin. Uh have any objection in taking the prescribed oath? None at all. You swear that the evidence you're about to give to the truth, the whole truth, nothing else but the truth. Raise your right hand and say so help me God. So help me God. The witness is so name. May we sit if you want to. Um I'll stand for now, my lord. Thank you. Oh, okay. Miss Mutaping, what is your occupation? I'm a principal court interpreter, my lord. Uh, it's called Asami again, who to legal operator, who is a multi principal court interpreter. Where? At Boxback Magistrates. You can tell her again, yes, uh, Boxback. Can you briefly just put your career history on, on record? When did you become an interpreter? <coughs> Um, I was appointed on the 1st of December 1997 at the um, at Benoni Magistrates Court. Uh, mm -hmm. And in 2005, I was then promoted to senior court interpreter. And in 2014, on the 3rd of February, I was then appointed as principal court interpreter. 2014. 2014. Yes, and, and when did you join Boxback Magistrate Court? Uh, that is in 2014. Uh,
and in which forums have you performed duties? Which, which courts in terms of hierarchy? Well, I um, have mainly interpreted in the district courts as well as the regional courts, my lord. In Cantologe, SX7, Nomage, and Toliga Buzonage, in Cantologe, a magistrate court, a district court, and a regional court. And if you were to split that period between the district court and the regional court, what would say the period is in the, that you spent in the district court and in the district, in the regional court as an interpreter? Well, um, my lord, I would say for the entire time that I have worked as an interpreter, I have um, interpreted in both the district and the regional courts. And what is your proficiency regarding languages? In which languages are you proficient? Um, English, obviously. Um, Isizulu, Sesotho, Setswana, Sibedi. Um, uh, Chivenda, I'm, I'm reasonable in Chivenda, as well as um, Shitsonga. On the 24th of June 2020, were you on duty? I was, my lord. June 2020. I just want to show you a document, exhibit JJ, page 8, thereof, or maybe even before we get to page 8, page 1 of uh, exhibit JJ. It's indicated <coughs> that Ms. Evelyn Tepiso Mutlaping was the interpreter during the proceedings as reflected in Exhibit JJ. What is your comment? That is correct, my lord. We can use an Angela Palu, Egalan, Ubutiga, Babu, Mina, Umutu, Wayo, Toliga. From which language to which language were you interpreting? Um, English to Isi Zulu and vice versa. If I can then refer you to page 9 of exhibit JJ, the performer, there is a signature there in the middle of the page. Whose signature is that? It is my signature. Okay, can you just what? Read into the record what stands about your signature. Okay. It says here certificate by interpreter. No, no, no uh, page, uh, page eight. Page eight. Yes. Okay. Okay, the statement is also signed by the interpreter. This is what's written above my signature. Okay. Right, and page nine. Okay. Yes, can you just put on record what what, okay. what stands on page nine? Okay. It says certificate by interpreter. I, Evelyn Tebiso Motlabing, certify that in terms of section 217 of the Criminal Procedure Act 51 of 19, 1977, as amended, I have interpreted truly and correctly and to the best of my ability with regard to both the contents of the statement and everything said by the magistrate. Okay. 
ngokwazi kwamike ngokuma ilala ke nalokho okubhaliwe ke kusona isitatimende kanye nabo konke okwashiwa uyena umanje Miss Mutlapin, can you just explain what was the process that was followed when this statement was taken? When were the when was this exhibit signed? Um, well, um, the presiding officer started with the with the completion of the pro forma, uh, and thereafter moved on to the statement. I think the whole thing was signed after the statement was um, taken down. Lanagi opened the Gagi, who took it all magistrate, the Wakalagi, Dalago Quiz, who took it from former, was a Indrega Sonagi statement. Who would take a sign to a younger Indo, they were signed to a Gamu, Massa Petre Conke. And if you look from page one, every page is uh, initialed. That is correct. When, when was this uh, done? Um, this was done after the completion of the um, taking down of the statement. Except on page four, your, uh, the initials of the interpreter. I see I missed that part, yes. Can you remember where the deponent got the pen from that he used to sign the, to initial and sign the exhibit, exhibit JJ? I gave him a pen. Ms. Mutapin, can you perhaps still remember this incident? Well, I think I do, even though I cannot recall every single thing, but um, I do recall. Can you perhaps, in your own words, tell the court what happened on the day in so far as you can remember? Well, um, yes, my lord. If I should start from the beginning, I um, was approached by the senior prosecutor uh, who Just informed me that... Um, it's, it's fine. Um, you were approached by the senior prosecutor is it correct that it was with a request yes 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 and what happened further you, you need not disclose what the discussion with the senior prosecutor was and um i waited until about two o'clock because i was informed that the people would arrive at two o'clock when I went to check if they had arrived, I was then informed that um, they were not there yet. Yes. So you established that they were not there? Yes, yes they were not. Yes. I was then um, called by the secretary to the um, senior magistrate. And this was um, towards half past two. Um, yes, what happened, you may not disclose what uh, the secretary to the senior magistrate told you, what happened thereafter? Yes, um, I then proceeded to where um, the said confession was to be um, done. <laughs> And where was that? Uh, that was in uh, room number two. Uh, La Pogue, room number two. Yes, what happened further? And um, as, as, as I came towards room number two, I then um, saw a number of people standing outside the office. Uh, 
were they identifiable? Uh, some of them, yes. Yes, how were they identifiable? Um, they were Metro Police officers clad in uniform. Yes, and where were they at that stage? Uh, they were standing just outside office number two in the passage. Yes. And there was also um, a person who was in handcuffs. And um, there was also a gentleman who was standing among all of those people um, who was, well, clad in a suit. And where precisely was this gentleman in a suit standing? He was also standing in the passage, but um, <coughs> slightly um, on the side, you know, um, on the side from where the metro officials were standing. Yes, may I proceed? And, um, well, shortly thereafter, we then proceeded to, um, to the office in office number two, that was myself and the presiding officer. And who was the presiding officer? It was Mrs. Uh, Vivian Cronier. Mrs. Vivian Cronier. So the witness who has just stood down. That is correct. Yes. The um, person in handcuffs was also um, led into the office. Who led him into the office? Um, I think it was one of the police officials, one of the officials. Yes. And um, the gentleman um, clad in a suit also came into the office. <coughs> yes. Um, I think this is where the presiding officer asked um, one of the uh, police officials. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, my lord, I think he was the investigating officer of, 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 of the matter or something, but um, she requested him um, to make copies of his um, appointment certificate. Um, and this is after um, he introduced himself to the presiding officer. Yes. After he uh, brought the copies of the appointment certificates, um, he then left the office. So who's that now? And this is the uh, police officer. I think it's Mr. Mukhani or something. Yes. And um, just before we could start, I, I remember the presiding officer had a conversation with the gentleman. Um, I mentioned earlier that he was dressed in a suit. Could you hear what the nature of the conversation was? Well, 
as far as I can recall, um, he, I think she was asking him um, who he was. Yes. And um, the gentleman said that he was the legal representative of the uh, suspect at the time. And um, this was um, confirmed by the suspect himself after he was asked by the presiding officer. Yes. Um, I think after all the pleasantries were done, um, we then proceeded um, with um, the business of the day. And who was present in the office at that stage when you proceeded with the business of the day? Uh, it was myself, the presiding officer, the gentleman um, as described before, and um, the suspect. Do you perhaps remember what the sitting arrangement was in the office? Um, yes, I do. Yes. Who was seated when? The presiding, as I'm standing here, my lord, the presiding officer would have been in front on the other side of the table. Um, I was sitting on the, on, on, on well, to my left, and the suspect was sitting on my right. Sorry, just if you can, to, in relation to the presiding of the uh, Ms. Cronier, how we, we each seated? Well, um, in relation to Ms. Cronier, because then she would be facing this side, then that mm -hmm. means the suspect would have been to her left and I would have been to her right. And the gentleman um, in a suit was sitting on my left hand side because there's a couch in office number two that's on the left hand side. And um, But in relation to the suspect, where was the gentleman in the suit seated? Um, I was between them. He was on the left hand side, the suspect was on my right hand side. <laughs> And what was your overall impression about the, 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 the suspect? It, it, it has been put to Ms. Cronier that the suspect was coerced, assaulted. What, what was your overall impression? My Lord, my overall impression was that, um, of course, looking at the demeanor of the suspect at the time, um, he appeared to me like somebody who really wanted to speak whatever it was that he wanted to say. And 
are you able to perhaps say why you were of that view? Um, well, because if I may just fast forward a bit, when the rights were explained to him um, and the fact that he was not compelled in any way to make a statement, um, his specific words were, um, I really wanted to speak. I, I really want to speak. I, I, I just want to say this. If I can say it in Zulu, my lord, he said, Tasi sing, funukubega mkulo. Umage amalungelo ake, esewa taze luage, sexuage nama ubutige futi. Aga potalegi ile ubutige asho luto namage apulu bege, wabu yenage oti ngeafuna ubusho loko, washo lama kamage, usi sakwetu washo manje, eishonge si Zulu. No lady, I really want to speak. And do you remember if the suspect had any, had any injuries? Um, not at all, sir. Sorry, that question is, the answer is ambiguous. That's you. Yes. Not at all. Do you remember if the suspect had any injuries? Oh. Not at all, sir. Oh. Yes. I apologize. Yeah, it's double yes. double Yes. Okay. Um, no, my lord, I did not see any injuries on the suspect. It was also put by the defense to Ms. Cronier that the suspect did not sign the statement. Exhibit JJ, what is your comment? He signed it in my presence because I'm the one that gave him the pen. The statement in this was signed and gave corner in me now or me get a pen. Thank you, my lord. That is all. <coughs> Thanks. What's the time, Mr. Bonner? Which time is? In the first class, 11. Can we? Yeah. 15 minutes.